I'm Na. My phrase up to log into every day is my channel, my CSP. A few months ago, I was among the masses that thought science was a mere distraction to man. When I close my eyes and let my mind wander, I can still feel the gentle caress of the river breeze through my head. Those days were filled with laughter and innocence as I held my mother in the kitchen, preparing my free dish. But my life changed in an instant when I discovered my mom had liver cancer. Her once vibrant spirit dimmed. I witnessed the toll it took on her body, the weight loss, the swollen abdomen. She tried everything. Miracle diets, detox therapies with her own medicine, but still, her condition worsened. The doctor spoke of surgery, a last ditch effort to remove the defense, but it was too late. My mother slipped up me. And there I was, left alone in a world I was too young to navigate. I grew up always striving to make ends meet. I was determined to rise about the hardships. Years later, the world witnessed my transformation as I became a successful business cyclone. But life's unexpected turns can shatter even the strongest amongst us. There I was, in the cold confines of the hospital waiting room, grappled with fear and uncertainty. My mind clouded with memories of my mother's suffering as I was diagnosed with early stage liver cancer. But a ray of hope emerged when the doctor introduced me to nuclear technology. He spoke of IMRT, Intensity Modulated Radiation Therapy. It took his time to explain the entire procedure to me. If only mom knew about this. He said I would first have an image of my liver taken with a CT scan, and data from that image will be installed onto a linear accelerator, a machine used to produce and deliver high energy radiation that kills the cancer cells. The electron gun of the linear accelerator produces a beam of high energy electrons to very high speed. Then, the accelerated electrons collide with the metallic surface, causing a large amount of energy to release, which kill the cancer cells. More localized cancers are easier to treat with radiation therapy, so I was very fortunate my diagnosis was made early enough before the cancer spread. I was assured that IMRC was my safest option because it only targeted the cancer cells, making sure to not destroy other health the tissue. I only experienced short lived fatigue and nausea a few weeks after the procedure was completed, but it was nothing serious. I was told to expect them. In no time, I was back to full strength. Thanks, science, for radiation therapy. My journey didn't end there. I founded an NGO to raise awareness and fund research on nuclear technology of the fire healthcare solutions. I am now, and today, I believe nuclear technology is not man's distraction, but rather man's greatest help.